All right. Now, this one's Paper Perjury. This one did look pretty good to me. It's it's basically just indie Ace Attorney. It's just indie game Ace Attorney, honestly. As far as I could tell, you're just investigating people, interrogating them, collecting evidence. You got a bunch of different cases. That's pretty much it. It You like Ace Attorney. You like Paper Perjury, I mean, honestly. But I'm, I'm very interested to see how this one goes. No release date that I know of for this one. But, oh. Wait. Flowers? I guess we'll just start with one. It says all five of these should be connected. April 16th. Unknown. <clears throat> these subtitles, for some reason, don't know how to do numbers still. But, that's alright. Let's make it auto. Detective Ernest Hunt's office. I'm away from the office. Please see the message. No beep this time, though. Detective, this is Chandra Lear, the witness from yesterday. Ooh. I lied yesterday. There's more going on than I was laying out. Oh. Chandra. Come on. Shouldn't lie. A terrible mistake, and I need your protection. Oh, that's not good. I think my... Oh! Oh, God! What happened to her? Well, I mean... We know what happened to her. She got hit over the head, but still. Is there a city police precinct? Number five, okay. This is my first real job. As a clerk. Okay, well, that's not the most exciting one. There's Justina Smith. Okay. Junior High Police Clerk working at Azura City's 5th Police Precinct. 5th? Is that... I've never really lived in a big city. Do big cities have 5 police precincts? Because that seems like a lot. I can understand, like, 3, but 5... Oh, yeah? Dang, I've never been to, like, a big city like that. I don't really know a lot about the police precincts of those cities. Huh. Okay. Then when I told my parents, they seemed to think that made me an office. Okay, yeah. Parents not understanding? Understandable. Are there the dangerous life of a cop or more contentious doing the paperwork? Fair. Not that, not that I'm afraid of action. My, my parents always used to call me a bit too headstrong. Still really nervous. Stay calm, Justina. All you have to do is your job well. Keep your head low. New York Police Department currently is 77? What? Well, I assume you looked it up, yeah. 77? That's so many. It, my dialogue box still can't get numbers right. Oh my god. I, I definitely didn't expect 77. Oh, God. You, Justina. There's someone around here I can ask. Uh-oh. Tutorial. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, sorry. I'm missing my... My throat wasn't a little, uh... Wasn't a little sore from playing a board game for 12 hours yesterday. I definitely would be voicing this guy. He'd be like a... Sorry, miss. I'm in a hurry. But that's... I can't keep that up. Wait. The way I work here... Please, for the love of God. Today's my first day. I'm here for the clerk role. Oh. In that case, Detective Ernest Hunt. Okay. Unfortunately, it's about all the pleasantries I can give right now. Something important just occurred, and I need to get going. Miss Earl is our senior clerk here. Go speak with her for your assignment. Station should be in the back. Okay. Time's ticking. Gotta run. Who says that? Who says time's ticking? I don't think I've ever met someone who said that IRL. I guess I know where my desk is now. Tell me my supervisor. Okay, we got we know Ernest Hunt now. Okay. 
Me neither. Yeah, no, nobody says time's ticking. Unless it's like a threat, maybe. I hope, like Jigsaw, like time's ticking, Daniel. But even then, I don't know about that one. Excuse me, are you Miss Earl? Oh, yeah, she looks like Miss Earl. Yeah, here to speak with an officer, please wait in the lobby. <laughs> what? I'm not a civilian. I'm a clerk. Just office job. Can I see some ID? Here is my ID. I'm waiting. Okay, well. 22 green eyes, brown hair. It's extra shiny for my first day. At any point, I found myself in a position that I would say clock sticking. Yeah, that's fair. Perfect. You're the new girl. Wow. The case file. I'm not checking the case file. Wait, <laughs> she just threw those behind her. She said, nah. Anyways, welcome to the office. What the hell? Tessina Smith, it's a pleasure to meet you. I, I am the head before today, the only clerk here at the bridge. Ooh, don't need that garbage. Yeah, what is Autopsy report, case files? Nah, not gonna file those or anything. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what she's filing, but I'm gonna assume it's something important. Since she's the only one, the only clerk at the entire precinct. I assume she's gonna be doing some important filing. Uh, that's the time for today. Today's a busy day. We need you working right away. Oh, she, okay. She got more papers. There's a police report from yesterday you need to file. Something came up recently that requires my full attention. I trust you can handle a simple filing job. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sure all the information matched up correctly. Once you're done, let me know. Oh, do I do actual filing? How the under shoes has an under her shoes and she steps over him? Honestly. Shit, uh, Jacob, I know, uh, you know, we had obviously went to the same school together. Did you ever have a teacher, like, in high school that was like, oh, you can put it in the, in the, the round bin and just points to the round trash can? You can put it in the circle bin, file it, uh, file it in here. I feel like I had three, yes, I had, like, three teachers that did that. And every time I'm like, oh, awesome, thanks. Got me, I guess. I want to know why everyone is in a rush, but I can ask her about it later. Right now, I need to work. Sue Pearl. Sue Pearl? I'm trying to think if her name's a pun. Ernest Hunt and Sue. I mean, I feel like Sue is on purpose. Pearl could be, because, I, I mean, Ace Attorney is very known for their pun names. Oh, it's about as basic as a workstation can be. Yeah, that's true. At least they... Oh, those aren't for you, probably. Well, they might be for you. At least they give you a pencil. Suggestion... The suggestion bin complaint department. Yes! I for... I didn't even think of those. No, I definitely heard those a whole lot. Let's see here. Okay, so many witness statement and a couple of pieces of evidence. Thief's path. Okay, well, that's... Calmly in a way towards the safe, okay. A window the thief entered from, okay. From the inside only, hmm. The safe. Money for the Klaus orphanage. Brother stole from an orphanage? What are you doing? Why would you do that? What the hell? No evidence of tampering. Okay. Case summary updated. You can now access the case summary section of the case file. It's like everything is here. I should look over the evidence in case summary first. The case summary should be with the evidence. Okay, well here whoa whoa, here we go. 
On April 16th, around 5 p.m., we received a phone call from Chandra Lear, the maid of the Urbank estate. She called to report that a thief stole a large sum of charity money from her master's home. Due to rain earlier that day, the thief left muddy footprints throughout the room. The estate's front gates were picked with lockpicks. Currently, we are searching for the man. Okay. Okay. There's some muddy footprints. They said it was raining. Makes sense. I guess they came to the window and the, they stole money from here. Okay. Looks like the lead detective recorded the witness statement. <clears throat> the camera is on. We can begin. Whoa, 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 whoa. What kind of game is this? Some of the guys spoke too early. See the detective in charge of this investigation? Can you provide your name and occupation? Okay, okay. It's just a witness statement. <laughs> Yo, wrong website. Wait a minute, this isn't incognito mode. Unfortunately. John Jolier, I work as a maid at the Urbank Estate. Appreciate the cooperation. Now can you describe the events that took place earlier? I got knocked the fuck out. Just cleaning the hallway when I heard a noise coming from this room. That was also that we can see that the footprints just go right there. Also, I thought she got whacked. Yeah, I thought she got knocked. I, at the very least, like, just knocked out. But I think, I think her getting knocked out is after the fact. I think this is before the fact. I think. I don't remember the times, but... Inside, saw someone taking Mike from the safe. Couldn't get a good look at his face, but he was clearly a six foot tall man carrying lockpick. Ma'am, you gotta look at the lockpicks he was holding in his hand, but no other details about him. That's it. That's all you got. Huh. That's, uh, that's not great, Chandra. I'm gonna be honest. When he saw me, he took some of the money and ran to the window, making his escape. Alright. I'm gonna have to BRB just for a second. My dog needs to let out. Hold on. Dog's been let outside. Anyway, he made an escape. Couldn't catch him, so I checked the safe. Half the money inside was stolen. I'm trying to hold on. I called the police to report the crime shortly afterwards. Okay, fair. <clears throat> I see. Seems to me like it was a simple wobbly. Wait a second. Something doesn't seem right. I think she just lied. I need to look over his statement again. I'm sure there's a problem. When I find a line I think the has the problem, I can press the dispute button to present evidence. Just to me as easy as clicking on the evidence that contradicts that statement. If I forget anything, I can hit the back button to go back to a previous line. Okay. I won't leave this computer until I find this contradiction. Okay. Oh, interrogation! The house robbery, okay. Okay. So that's one taking money out of the safe. Couldn't get a good look at him. Now, didn't they say all the money was taken? I had no half was stolen, okay. Ah, the thief walked calmly. Some, he took some of the money and ran. Not quite. Hold on. She said the thief ran, but the evidence shows the thief walked calmly. As if he wasn't afraid of being caught. Bro just was strutting. So I'm sorry, I know what I found. I feel like... Now, I'm not a detective. I'm not a police officer by any means. 
I feel like that's not a contradiction I would accept. I'm like, wait, uh, oh, maybe she was exaggerating. Like he was doing like a like a speed walk. It's not that different from from either of the two. I feel like I can't imagine that the footprints would be that different. I mean, they may be pressed on a little bit more into the carpet or whatever, but evidence-wise, I feel like I feel like there's not a whole lot of difference there. I mean, that's just that's just me. <clears throat> All right, Julia's gonna add the profiles. Okay, <clears throat> Miss Earl. What is? Oh, she's not happy. Spacing too, like your strider be long. That's true. Yeah. Uh, hey, you know some people, some people take really fast small steps. You never know. <laughs> Maybe this guy's like a, like a weird walker. It's reviewing the case file, and I think she lied. Show the detective that the thief ran in a hurry. The evidence seems to ind indicate the opposite. The thief had walked calmly. Let me see that file. I see. I think. I, by God, I think you're right. Man took off like a train. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's it. He's doing like. It's almost like the cartoon, like run in place for a second. But he's, you know, he's he's starting to get a little slow chug going. Yeah. But once he got to that window, he like dive bombed right out of there. That's when the pace started to pick up. She clearly didn't see the thief. What? She... She clearly didn't see him because the footprints were different? This is exactly like Ace Attorney. I'm getting... <laughs> this... The the main plot point is a tiny contradiction that I feel like would not hold up in court. And... It, it's making me a little... A little upset. What do you mean? Impossible? Why? About an hour ago, we got a call from the Urbank Estate. A thief returned this morning, and this time he attempted to take her life. What? Thankfully, she survived, but she's currently in a coma with a life threatening head injury? That's awful. Oh my god. Around the time you showed up, our lead detective went into the investigative poker. He processed the paperwork over the call. Detective, yeah, Detective Hunt, yeah. You've already met, yes, that's him. So what do we do now? Call Detective Informant. You can decide what to do next. And until then, keep this clear statement with you. You might need it later. There has to be more to it. I think I'll speak. Well, I mean, they only took half, so. I mean, it doesn't seem illogical to me that a thief would try to take the other half. He double dipped, yeah. Bro's putting the first bite and the second bite in there. Thief was mail hold more fix, okay. Now, I will say, it did say, um, let's save it. Ooh, we can save. I didn't even know if we could. All right, so we saved. I, I do want to point out, um, excuse me. <clears throat> it looks like there are five cases for us to do. I don't know if all of these are going to be unlocked or if this is the base game. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I'm not playing all five right now, but I may come back to this if, uh, I don't know. I mean, it seems, it seems fun. Let's see how much better it gets. Detective Hunt's return. I hope my tip helped him. Excuse me, Detective Hunt. I'm busy right- hold on. Seems like a lot for a demo. Yeah, no, it, it seems really cool. I mean, it- it is a visual novel, so they can definitely put in plenty of 
of gameplay in there, and you know, the space would not be not take that much. It's not like this is an overcomplicated game. I don't think. I don't know how far the how far the branching paths can go if there are any. A new girl, right? The one Mr. Old told me to find the clue. Yes, I'm Justine Smith, sir. Looks like our newest member already wants to be out on the front lines. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. that's not what I want. In any case, maybe you can help me. Help you out. Ooh, ooh. Oh, apologize. Confet. Ooh. The interrogation room. You caught the. Yeah, then we got him. Bro's caught already. That's why you never double dip. It's unsanitary and you always get caught. Yeah, yeah, J yeah, Jacob knows what's up. There you are. The chief wants us to start the interrogation from right away. All right, yeah, what, what do you want from me? You're a police officer. How could you not know how to interrogate someone? Brother, I'm not a police officer. Yeah. I'm just a clerk. I was hired to do paperwork. Paperwork is the true life of a police officer. True, actually. I mean, that's what I hear anyways. Lots of paperwork. True. I feel underqualified to be in charge of invest interrogation. I'm the <laughs> don't get the don't get it twisted. I'm the one in charge. You're here to help. Besides, you're young. Being on there might make suspect lower their guard. Okay. I mean I could kind of See some logic there, I guess. Well, I guess I'll be as much help as I can. I guess. All you need to do is listen to their statements, and if you find a flaw, point it out. Okay. You just keep the speed button when I like to my lie. Yep. Catching on already. Your statement's perfect. Oh, I don't think so. That's such a hiding something. There will always be a flaw somewhere. Have to find those flaws until the truth comes out. A 23 year old woman would not lower my guard. I'd be like, what's going on? They don't acknowledge me. I mean, I, yeah, I don't feel like I'd have my guard lowered by anyone in particular, but I guess some consciously, maybe. You never know. I do, and you should too. Sometimes the flaw might not be immediately obvious. You can use the question button. Ooh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. If, if there's a room and don't talk to me, so it's gotta be a trap. I see. Here we are. That's I was a little confused, I won't lie, but okay. If you're watching this and you're a woman, don't talk to Jacob. It's actually against the law. Talk to Jacob. Don't do it. I'm gonna reveal some additional information that could be helpful. If you prefer things the hard way, don't use it all. It's completely optional. Oh. Huh. So I use the dispute button when I spot a lie and the question button when I want clarification. Yep. You need an ironclad confession, so we need to find all the flaws. Okay. You just have them done. Well. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Is there any further questions for the suspect? Got him. <clears throat> After this one, I'll probably uh, switch games. Lots of talking for me. Not good for the sore throat. Yeah, yeah, you are breaking the law by speaking to me. Do not make this mistake again. Okay. 
so this is the inside of the interrogation room. I'm lucky I'm here on the police side. The other side is our thief. The witness said they were male. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, talking her. Yeah, a little bit, making me a little sore. <clears throat> yes. uh, let's see. So, oh wait, but oh brother's here. Can you wait, I had to grab my assistant. Hmm. What's she holding? I'm not sure. When I get another look at it, I'll, I'll look further. Let me catch her up to speed. As part of your arrest, you agreed to complete, completely cooperate with us. I'm going to hold your end of the deal, right? Pens, maybe? Or knitting? Like knitting things? Ne knitting needles? I don't know if they're called needles. Now that's what. This is the only two that make sense to me. Am I as a police officer? Then. Oh! They're just for a hair. Years better themselves for the greatest plan of the entire criminal underground. The thing takes an L bend? Yeah, that's why I was saying, like, the knitting things. But yeah, I think it's just hair stuff. All she do is go through a window. Which more criminals had your enthusiasm? Please state your name for us. The great and cunning Hana Overyor. Hana Overyor. Hana Overyor. Okay. <coughs> no lies so far. You're doing great. Keep up. Oh, she did. She did the thing. Stop patronizing me. I stole from one of the wealthiest men in the city. And I arrest you for the crime in less than 24 hours. But by all means, keep bragging. Got him. Oh, man. Got him right there. Ooh. Now come back? Then let us continue. I'm currently only being charged for the crime of larceny, so we... Hold on. What about... Doll in two time? he getting that she committed the assault too, right? Or is he not charging her for that as well? I like the sprite work for some of these. Some of them are better than others, but I like, like this one. This one looks really good to me. As I was saying, all we need is your official statement. Are you ready, Miss Assistant? Ready as I'll ever be. Miss Yori may begin anytime. Okay, here we go. Hana over your. So like hand over your. Is that what it, is that what the pun's supposed to be? A thief I am proud of. On 4:30 p.m. I snuck into the estate. I spotted the safe. It's inside stuffed with treasure. I used my trusty lockpick to open the window. I made my way inside. I peeled for the safe of contents. Grabbing about half of the money inside. I can't believe it. it took an entire day for you to find me. I thought the police were better at that. Damn. Alright, first thing. Use the lockpicks to open the window. Window says unlocks from inside only. Miss Yor, you couldn't have opened the window. The window in the room only opens from the inside. No lockpicks could get you around that. Oh, she pogged. I, I, I can, I can explain. See, the weather was really warm that day. The maid opened up the window. I just got the details mixed up. Let me explain. Okay, okay. Part two. When I snuck into the estate. The window was already open. So, I simply climbed in. That's when I spotted the safe. Use my trusty tools to open up the safe. I just mixed up the window and the safe. Okay. 
Since your, how did you open the safe? You said you opened it with your lockpicks, but there's no sign of tampering. It can only be opened with a code. Your tools would be useless. Got him again. I'm so good at this game. I, I never said my tools were my lockpicks. Uh, I mean my, my greatest tool of all, uh, patience. I just waited for the maid to open up the safe. What? I robbed after she left, why would she open up the safe? I doubt both your statements are true. You're saying that Miss Lyra opened both of the both the safe and the window and then she left the room? Uh, mm, uh, uh, maybe? Detective, that doesn't make any sense. That, that is the biggest coincidence ever. Not impossible. Unless you can prove otherwise, you have to take her word for it. Oh, this, this thing keeps going off. I have a... I keep bumping into a mini vacuum. It keeps going off. I don't know how I'm hitting the button, but it should be good now. Alright. Open the safe in the left room. Uh, I, well, I don't know her reasons. I only took advantage of them. What now? Has to be another way to draw it. Out the truth. Can you explain the purpose of your lockpicks? You mean, the oh, they're lockpicks. Well, they pick locks. That's the name of boys. I just keep them in my hair for safekeeping. And just as they waited for the maid to open the window and the safe. So then, why were you carrying lockpicks? I have a good reason for that. What is that? Miss Tacky Green Suit will accept. It's not as tacky as the orange jumpsuit you'll be wearing. Ayo, got him! No, no. It's not the time for colorful quips. Please, Miss Your, tell us your story. Oh, okay, here we go. Part three. Oh, tools for a great heist. Ooh. The lockpicks were needed to enter the estate. There's a gate with the pad with the padlock that I picked in order to on the property. I believe that was mentioned before. They, I feel like they mentioned something about a, a thing being unlocked, but I could be wrong. Place my lockpicks in my hair afterwards. I had no need for them once I got to the window. So is she telling the truth about the gate? She is, we found the gate and the lock was picked. And she's telling the truth. How do we go any further? Don't think about her lying. Think more about how the evidence doesn't support the truth. You're the one in charge here. Can't you tell me the answer? Ha ha ha. True leaders just sit behind desks all day giving orders. True. True. I'll look over the statement again. Picture need to enter the estate. There's a gate with a padlock that I picked in order to get in the property. Place my lock picks in my hair afterwards. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I was holding lock picks. Sure, did you know that Miss Lear gave us a recorded statement? <laughs> so, in her statement, she said that the thief was a six foot tall male and had lockpicks. Her description of you was wrong, but there was one key detail about you she mentioned that you had lockpicks. If she only saw you during your escape, she would only have seen them as hairpins. Something happened in that room, and it wasn't a simple robbery. Oh, all I can explain. No, please allow me. Earlier today, I saw that the footprints you left in that room showed you walking away from the safe. Normally, I would expect a thief like yourself to simply run away. Oh, one possibility was that she lied about seeing you. However, if she knew about the lock fix, then she clearly had seen you. Oh, well, maybe she saw that I picked the lock of the gate to get onto the property. We only found that lock after we arrived and interviewed her. 
Miss Assistant, do you know why Miss Lear was in the room with our thief? I think it... I think you two knew each other. This whole time you said you wanted a plea deal. Yet, that was never the reason. This was all meant to hide your relationship with Miss Lear. Exactly it, yep. After getting your tip on the footprints, I came to a conclusion. The thief must have been someone Miss Lear knew. So I asked the Urbank family about her friends, and your name came up. Oh, God. Getting your bank records was the hard part, but that's how I proved you were the thief. How'd you get her bank records? I have my connections. Anyways, it's clear you hid your relationship to keep Miss Lear from being arrested as well. The two of you were working together. Ah, uh, uh, no. If you're working together, why wouldn't she just let me right through the front door? Who wouldn't even need me? And she could have just robbed the safe herself. Oh, oh, oh. I think my assistant can explain that, can't you? Bro, he's a detective. I probably just. He <laughs> probably just walked in and asked. That's possible. Yeah, I can't imagine it'd be that difficult to be like, hey. This person's a suspect. Can you have their bank records? Or just ask them, hey, has there been like a like a thousand dollar drop in lately? Although he's he's probably making up the bank records part, I would imagine. Just because I feel like she's only used she's only doing this to protect someone else. But I don't know yet. Why did the two of them stage the robbery as they did? interesting. Uh, they definitely want the police to know. Correct again? And we did get involved, so their plan at that point was successful. They knew that the money being stolen would make the news. And if Miss Lear says a male thief stole the money, it would throw an investigation off. <sighs> oh, apologies. We trust Miss Lear, of course. Yeah. So unless you want us to throw the full extent of the law at you, we need your real confession now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you win. I'm no great thief. Let's go. Your robbery might not have been very great, but did try to steal away the truth. Okay, that one. Don't pat yourself on the back for that one. I can't believe you. How can you crack jokes at a time like this? Lighten up, Miss Assistant. We won this round. We can have some fun now. I haven't taken it seriously at any point. Miss Yor, we have a few questions to ask now. Don't you already know everything? Just throw me in a jail cell. I don't think you were stealing based out of greed. If you were, why would you only take half the money? So I want to offer you a chance to tell us why you stole the money. You know what the money in the safe was used for, right? It was a charity money? Probably not, but... I don't know which charity it was used for. It's a charity run by the Urbank Estate. They raise money for a local orphanage. I have to say, stealing money from orphans doesn't paint you in the best light. Mr. Urbank raised money for a charity. Or for the charity, but he's been lying about how much he receives. The amount they raise and the amount that goes in the charity are different. Chandra helped with the fundraising and she had figured out there was a discrepancy. Hold on. If he's wealthy enough to have a charity, why is he stealing money from it? Who's gonna tell her? Who's gonna tell her? Who, who's gonna tell her? Someone, someone has to tell her that, uh, this is not how the world works. <laughs> someone, someone needs to drop the truth bomb on her. This is a does she know situation. All in her head, maybe? Hold on, Miss Assistant. None of this is proven. She lied once already. We have to take the rest with a grain of salt. Still, why would he keep the charity money in a safe? Wouldn't a bank account be safer? Banks keep records. If he was ever audited, the records would reveal what he did. Got gone too far? Yeah. She's like, oh, well, this man's rich. Why would he be greedy? Ma'am, please. 
I need you to use a little common sense right now. The Air Bank's own one of the largest investment firms in the, in the country. They know how to avoid leaving any paper trails. But why would he give Miss Leo the code to the safe? Well, I don't, I don't know. Chandra never told me. So why did the two of you get involved? Chandra couldn't accept that was go what was going on, stealing from orphans. She told me what was going on and what her plan was. So I agreed to help her. And what were you planning to do with the money after you stole it? Well, you know, we uh, we didn't figure that part out. We didn't expect to get caught so quickly. <clears throat> you know, if you had told me you had planned to anonymously donate the money, I can almost respect this little plan. Regardless, we'll still have to charge you. Charge me, but please, please let Chandra off with a, with a lighter sentence. So instead of tipping off the police and auditing the company, they stole it? Yeah, wait a minute. I didn't even think of that. I, although I guess I have no evidence. So, like, what can they do? Because remember, they're doing this solely to not leave paper trails. I guess they could tell, like, tell the police and, like, show proof of how much is in there. And then, like, show how much they don't, that they actually donated, but... Still, I don't know if that, if that would hold up well. I was the one who stole the money. All she did was open the window in the safe. I know you'll go arrest her after this. But you have to understand that. Uh, oh no! She doesn't know- Oh yeah. I don't think she knows that the woman was assaulted. I'm sorry, Miss York. We have some bad news. We got a call from the airbag at Stank this morning. I mean, not the police. It's essentially, if they could get an auditor to check the books, there'd be a clear issue. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's true. But I think, I think the main, I think the dude who's stealing the money is the auditor. So I think he's, I think he's auditing him, it himself. This morning, this leader was attacked and is in a critical condition. No, you're joking, right? You're just trying to get me to say more. Well, you'll be charged with larceny. I'm afraid, pending further investigation, you're also being held under arrest for attempted murder! No! What? No! Why would I try to kill Chandra? We're best friends. I would never hurt her. I believe you, but we don't have a choice right now. You'll be detained here until further notice. I can assure you, however, that your cooperation won't go unnoticed. You'll have the legal right to a public defender if your case goes to court. To hell with a lawyer! Why did you hide this from me until now? Do you just want to watch me struggle? You cops really are evil. I'm sorry, I believe it. It would be in your best interest if you didn't speak to us further without a lawyer. No, I just this type are not connected to the public appeal. Oh, well, oh, fair enough. I don't think I ever took an, attempt, an accounting class, but... Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Fair enough. The two of us would best be going now. Wish I could do more for you. Hannah. The tar you take, we take it next semester. That's cool. No, that's fair. I, it's difficult enough to where I wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I think that's a pretty good amount here. I think this is this is good here. I think we save it up. 